Yeah, I want you to go on to seven. Okay. It's the second week of classes at Cuyamaca College, and already, Leisha Anchors feels compelled to give her math teacher a teary-eyed thank you. I have it over a three five. I'm ready to like move on. It's just <laughs> you are exactly <laughs> who I made this. I just yeah. I made this class for you. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. All right, Excited. thank you. Math was never Anchor's strong suit, and after taking time off from school to have children, she was especially nervous. And I failed so many times that I just gave up eventually. But Terry Nichols' math class feels different than all those she failed in the past, and that's because it is. Yeah, uh, pretty drastic changes. So um, there's the math pipeline of doom, that's what I like to call it. Nichols uses math pipeline of doom to describe several layers of low-level classes that students who test poorly must pass before taking math that will actually count toward their degrees. So 20, how much is that of 40? Extensive research has found many students get stuck in these classes and never graduate, especially students of color. Patchily here, and you narrow the achievement gap. Or she multiplied by 100. What happens is students come to college with these hopeful dreams of, you know, doing something with their life, and they place three levels below transfer. Well, you bleed students at that point because they think, I'm in college and I'm going to take an arithmetic class or a pre-algebra class, so you lose students at that point. Then they go into that class, and the skills are so decontextualized from anything familiar that they can apply their common sense to that they don't do well. Um, and they fail that class. So last year, Cuyamaca ended those classes and started placing students directly into college-level math with the remediation worked in. Why are we doing this exercise? What's my, what's my learning goal here? Oh my, yes. Yes, oh, that's awesome. I, we're just reminding ourselves how to read a table. It turns out in statistics, what students have the most trouble with is reading the table correctly. So we're practicing reading a table before we get into some more interesting material. It's giving you that information in a condensed manner. And they're sitting in a college math class, and they're doing college-level work, even when there's a little bit of remediation. The approach opens new doors for non-traditional students far removed from high school math or who might never need college calculus in their careers. The last time I took a math class would have been in the late 70s, early 80s. Michael Smith is a 20-year veteran of the Navy. He passed Nichols' class last year. I was, I, I was questioning myself whether or not I could do it. Um, and if I would have had to do every level, um, I wouldn't have done it at all. Now Smith is wrapping up his real estate degree so he can help other veterans find housing. He's one of several success stories. Nichols says before, just 10% of students who came to campus needing to catch up on high school math made it through a college-level course. Whereas now, we have 67% passing a transfer-level math class in one semester. 67%. That kind of data is why California State University campuses are making similar changes. Every year we have more students. But Cal State San Marcos Vice Provost Kamel Haddad says it's going to be a heavy lift. Faculty must reshape their courses and change how they place students all before freshmen arrive in 2018. And so the faculty need to make all these changes in fall semester for the approval process to run through the spring semester. And this is a challenging timeline uh, for us to be able to redesign several courses, right? But we understand that uh, the need is pressing to be better, to do better for the California student. And so we will try our best to respond to the call. You do plan for the remediation, right? Cuyamaca is ready to help. It's made its curriculum available to the public. They can't learn the way we were expecting them to learn. They can learn. They can do it. And Nichols is meeting with educators to share her tips and her enthusiasm. I am born anew into the craft of teaching. And I am grateful. I get goosebumps when I think about it. I am grateful to get to see 67% get through a transfer level math class when before only 10% were getting through. I get to end my career on that note. Like, F yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. It's all I want to talk about. Megan Burks, KPBS News. But let me tell you about, you know, so anyway. All right, thank you.